day two. Uh, I really didn't think I would do this, but it's almost midnight, and I said I would follow through with this. Uh, did I already say it was day two? Uh, anyways, day two, quitting cannabis. I was uh, in previous attempts. It's been my experience that the withdrawal was um, highly unpleasant. The cravings were incredible, but today was surprisingly good in that I felt uh, confident that I'm making the right choice. I didn't have any insecure uh, self-doubting moments. Um, and that was obviously the driving factor from yesterday being day one. I just, I, if I'm able to run 100 miles, I feel that I should be confident in my abilities and myself and my mental health. Um, so if anybody watches this and is wanting to give it up, um, what I found helpful is to focus not on what you're giving up, which is not much if you're, if you're down this train of thought that like, maybe I want to quit, um, make a list of reasons to quit versus reasons to keep smoking. And I think you'd be surprised at how heavily one side is favored than the other. So focus on what you are standing to gain rather than giving up or losing because uh, there's really not a whole lot that I'm going to lose. And there is an infinite amount of uh, positives that I will gain in the long term of um and that's what i think cannabis has offered me for a long time i somehow was able to rationalize spending so much money and time on numbing and escaping things that are better experienced with a clear mind a healthy mind and a mindset of uh, a growth mindset rather than a, a mindset of withdraw withdrawing from from life and society and just wanting to be a better person so uh, again I have nothing against marijuana cannabis whatever the f whatever you want to call it. Uh, in fact, it's quite the opposite. It's become a matter of uh, self-respect and discipline, really. Um, if you know me at all, I'm an ultra marathon runner. Uh, I've completed up to 100 miles. And uh, cannabis has made me doubt myself. It allows my ego to... Uh, limit my beliefs and my my own abilities and my potential so that's where that's where my problem is my problem is not with anybody who smokes it or continues to smoke it like power to you I wish you all the best I hope you enjoy it for many years and I hope it brings you peace of mind uh, but for me it did not it stopped doing that it made me insecure it made me doubt myself it made me okay with being okay and bored. Um, so day two, uh, it's been it's been good. Uh, honestly, it's been really good. Better than I better than I expected. Uh, brain fog is a little there, but I mean, the if if you, if you I don't want to go into too much detail, but there's a lot of stuff going on in my life that would otherwise m probably trigger me to smoke or you know want to step back and be like well this is too much but like no I'm I'm kind of I'm confident that 
I'm able to um, I'll be able to persevere through uh, I won't even say persevere through the withdrawal because I don't think I don't even think it's a big thing as long as you're aware of what your brain is craving like it's craving that dope the quick dopamine fix it's craving that the neural pathways that have been established for so many years because you have to think how how long have you been smoking uh for me it's 20 years off and on like probably more whatever it's been a long time so it's not going to change overnight uh it's not going to change over two nights or three nights it's going to change with uh, daily attention to being better, to uh, transcending harmful choices. THC is the, the, the acronym that I use. So, um, yeah, so expecting withdrawal to be torture is kind of just setting yourself up for failure. And also so is um, subconsciously thinking that you're going to be a smoker eventually. Like uh, for me, giving it up for a tolerance break or saying that I would quit for the rest of the year, that's just that's just uh, like a little asterisk on my on my on my goal. Um, like this ha this has to be for life. I want to see what. I want to see where I'm at in the world. I want to be valuable to the world. I want to be... What do I want to be? I want to be clear. I want to be clear in my purpose. I do not want to wake up and be 70, 80 years old and think to myself that I just should have been able to stop. Like that thought alone is sobering to me. Um, just can you imagine that regret, that feeling of just hopelessly wishing you had time to do it differently? Like I'm, I'm 38 years old, so I'm not young, I'm not old, whatever. I'm middle of the road, I guess. <clears throat> but like I got I had I still feel so uh I feel like I'm just getting started really with my career with my ultra running with my personality even um the past year I've grown leaps and bounds mental health socially emotionally spiritually even um yeah, I'm fucking recording myself talking about quitting weed, which is something <laughs> I never thought I would do, uh, both recording myself like this and quitting weed, cannabis, marijuana, whatever, all the fucking names of whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I get it. I understand. It's medicinal. It has benefits, but the harmful effects for me have far outweighed the positives. So I think I'm just rambling now. So day two was good. It's probably past midnight now. So we're into day three, but uh, the first three days are usually the worst, quote unquote. It's the, the rule of threes, right? Three days, three, three weeks, and then three months. Uh, if you're going to relapse, that's probably the time where your brain is going to rationalize it. But uh, my strategy is to do light workouts, consistent workouts every day. Uh, today I ran, gosh, I ran 3K and did five sets of 10 push-ups and five sets of 10 sit-ups. So it's, it doesn't doesn't sound like much, but... If you do that every day, or some variations, like there could be planks or pull-ups or what have you. 
But as long as you're doing something more than nothing each day, not just staring at yourself in the mirror, crying your eyes out, wishing for a better way, then I think you're on the right track. But for me, it's been a long road. I've tried to quit four or five times. So I've, I've come to learn what to expect. Uh, it was a matter of trial and error and just a real journey through darkness. A lot of dark days where I just smoked it all the way. Um, and it doesn't cure it. It just kind of postpones the, uh, the reality of it. So that's where I'm at. Day two is done. Like I'm confident. Um, I'm grateful. I have a great support network, but I don't, I don't want to say I don't really need it at this point, but I know that nobody's really going to do this except for me. Nobody's going to come save me. And weed will not fix my problems or, um, yeah, it's just not going to fix anything for me at all. So <sighs> these videos are really awkward. And if you watch them, then you know what? Much love. Like, uh, I hope you can, I hope you can understand that this is not an attack on smoking. Um, or anything at all. This is a uh, this is my way of attacking my own. Um, this is a way of attacking my own self doubt, and a matter of <sighs> fuck. Am I trying to say? A matter of realizing my potential. That's essentially what it is. So if you smoke, keep smoking. Don't fucking think that I am weak or whatever, because I can assure you I am not a lazy pothead or, you know, my life isn't falling apart. I'm choosing to do with my life what I feel is best. And I hope that you can do the same. Uh, whether you smoke or not, I wish you all the best. Uh, day two is done. I rambled for another five minutes somehow. Uh, for somebody that hates fucking recording themselves, I <laughs> tend to ramble, I guess. But <sighs> I think that's all I got to say. Day two is done. See you on day three. Peace.